I'm on the cast this year for Effort AM. Today, I'm going to do an about me. Um, basically, things you need to know about me are just, I honestly don't need to know about me, but here we go. All right, so with some things about me, my family, um, I have parents, and I have three little siblings, uh, Jordan and Caitlin Colton, in that order. Uh, Jordan and Caitlin go to high school here, so they're grades below me. You probably see them, probably know them. Um, I also have a dog. His name is Barkley, six years old. It's mixed between a... Uh, vehicle and something else pretty big dog to be honest though um what do i like to do for fun i like to skate i like to listen to music um i don't know but i like to play video games and complete them very well uh I like to do piercings and stuff like that I started that recently so pages eventually will be a thing am i involved with any activities at school uh well effort i am is one big thing um also i do track and field that's awesome do i have a job no i don't have a job um um, and what is my summer vacations like? Um, I just go to the beach every year and I uh, work at a summer camp. That's pretty much it. And I hang out with friends, to be honest. So yeah, that's me, all about me. Ephra AM, take 15. Good morning, Ephra. Uh, my name is Josiah. I'm Annie Slovak. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. This announcement is for all freshmen. Individual freshman transition meetings with your counselor begin Friday, October 18th. Meetings are 10 minutes each and will focus on a discussion about first semester classes, a reflection on your transition to EHS, as well as a conversation about possible future career directions. Please go to the counseling websites to sign up for a time slot for your meeting. You can also get, get there by using the link on Schoology, on the Schoology newsfeed as well. Be sure to select your date and time that works best works for your schedule. If you have a study hall, that would be ideal for this meeting. Now is the perfect time to open your laptop and sign up for a time slot for your meeting. Don't delay. All students who sign up to take the PSAT exam on Wednesday, October 16th will receive the pass this morning in homeroom for today's PSAT pre-administration session. This meeting will take place in the cafeteria immediately following period one, shortly after 8.35. Please report directly to the cafeteria after your first period class. There's no reason for you to check in with your second period teacher. College bound juniors and seniors, come to Financial Aid Night on Thursday, October 10th at 6.30 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. A representative from the Pennsylvania Higher, Assi Hi Higher Education Assistance Agency will be here to present informa information on all things financial aid. Sign up for the ASVAB in the counseling office today. If you are in 10th, 11th, or 12th grade and need some help making career decisions, then consider taking the ASVAB. The ASVAB is designed to help you learn more about yourself in the world of work, explore occupational skills in line with your interests and skills, and develop a strategy to realize your career goals. This free assessment is offered at EHS on Friday, November 1st. Stop in the counseling office to sign up today. There's absolutely no military commitment. Happy Lancaster <laughs> County Ag Week! Ag Week celebrates the impact that agriculture and the food industry have on Lancaster County's heritage, food choices, careers, economy, and the environment. Please take a look at this short video created by an effort of graduate Seth Bollinger to learn more about what farmers do for us on a daily basis. Who is a farmer? A farmer is a doctor when his cows are sick. A farmer is a businessman when market prices are changing. A farmer is a dietitian when his animals need to eat healthy. A farmer is a meteorologist when the weather is unpredictable. A farmer is a tech enthusiast when innovation creates efficiency. A farmer is all of these things and even more. 
Organizations like the Cloister FFA chapter recognize the need to educate the public about agriculture and what farmers do. Our community needs to realize that they're raising our food, they're raising the animals, and the meat that we'll eat, they're raising the vegetables that we'll eat, and without them, we can't survive. So Community events, such as the Effort Affair, provide the perfect opportunity for FFA members to reach out to others who don't understand the importance of farming. So for Tent City Tours, we bring out the kindergartners and preschoolers from our local school districts, and we teach them about the different aspects and things in agriculture. Uh, we have a station about cows, and we have a station for wildlife, and horses, and rabbits, and a couple other things. And it's really cool because lots of the kids have never been on a farm before, have never seen, uh, never heard about the things we're talking about. So to all the farmers out there, we want to say thank you. Thank you for providing quality products. Thank you for working to protect the environment. Thank, thank you, you for your hard work, work in, in agriculture. Thank you for being an influence in our community. Thank you, farmers. You inspire all of us every day. Wow! I never realized all the work that goes behind the scenes to make our food. Thank you, farmers, for all our fresh meat, veggies, and milk. The new chapter of Science National Honor Society is currently accepting applications from sophomores, juniors, and seniors. See Mr. Kellogg in room 107 or Mr. Ewing in room 111 for an application and more information. Applications are due today, Monday, October 7th. Now over to Peter with the news. It's time for the news. It's time for the news. In today's news, the new Joker movie hit theaters this weekend and came out smashing records in box office performance, netting nearly $93.5 million and destroying previous Sony superhero movie records. Joker made more than the other top 10 box office movies combined. On this day in history in 1952, Vladimir Putin was born. Putin is currently serving his second term as the Russian president, the first term being from 2000 to 2008. The Russian economy and standard of living has improved under his rule, but controversy surrounding Ukrainian intervention and authoritarianism trump his American opinion. Just a little pun for you there. Now we're to the juniors with lunch. Good morning, Everda. I'll be bringing you lunch. Today we have a Mountaineer cheeseburger. Looks like we have pulled pork, barbecue, the whole grain roll. Looks like we have three cheese cavada pee with buffalo chicken meatballs and a whole grain garlic breadstick. How long? Ham and cheese club with a whole grain juice. Chef salad. French fries. Fresh baby carrots or celery and dip. Chill pears. Fresh fruit. Or slushy. Love all. Friday in sports. Football ran over Columbia in the homecoming game with a final score of 70 to 22. On Saturday, both soccer teams came out victorious. The boys beat Muhlenberg 4 to 1 and the girls beat Southwestern 4 to 0. Field hockey lost 3 to 7 at Fleetwood. Today, boys soccer plays at home versus McCaskey and girls soccer is away at McCaskey. And volleyball is at Lampeter Stratusburg. Now back to the main desk. I want to siphon your blood. Blood Blood drive signups continue during lunches. Be sure to sign up in order to donate and pick up the required forms before October 11th. Hey, attention all juniors and senior girls. And there will be meetings held next week for all those interested in playing this year's Powder Puff game, which will be held on November 6th. Sign-ups are first come, first serve, meetings will be held right after school in your boy, Mr. Mars Ox Room, 137, until 3 o'clock, Tuesday, October 8th, 
will, there, there will be a meeting for any junior girls interested in playing, and on Wednesday, October 9th, there will be a meeting for any senior girls interested in playing. The meetings, will, the meetings will be about practices. If you cannot attend, please contact 717-635-5462. And uh, that, that's it for us today. For the have goodbye. a great day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nah.